Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb Edition. Obviously we've made some progress here and if you haven't seen the last video I would definitely encourage you to do so to see how we ended up at this point but for now um, knowing that there is new work in our future here or potentially like stuff's on the line right now we could potentially make progress I am going to play as my old buddy Isaac who obviously is um, you know through repeated use if nothing else my favorite character in the game so we will try. Now I'm gonna do some spoiler if spoilerific recapping of the last episode. If you didn't see it, I randomed Blue Baby, which was a shock to my system, and then basically got no spirit hearts for the entire run, but somehow, against all odds, and it really was against all odds, managed to, particularly in the late game, let's just take out this pill first. Fantastic. Uh, particularly in the late game, managed to pick up some pretty solid items, got three different flying items. Uh, the prayer card, like, better late than never, but I, I still got it. Um, yeah, and, and managed to make it work against Isaac, holding the Polaroid card, which I picked up, like, right before we fought Mom in Utero 2. Uh, so it was a pretty substantial surprise to me that we ended up beating Isaac with the Polaroid intact, considering that I had, you know, basically no health and very, very little damage, when we're, if we're talking about, like, the Depths Part 2. Uh, but, you know, turned it around fairly quickly. It, it all worked out, let's just put it that way. Uh, so now, as far as I know, we have unlocked the the real final boss, or at least the next final boss. Yeah, let's use a bomb to get to this. Uh, so, we're gonna try to fight him, basically, is how this is gonna go. We got Dead Bird. Eh, Reroll it. Ten bombs. That's fine by me. Um, Dead Bird is probably worth a little bit more than ten bombs. But it all depends on what you do with those ten bombs, right? Like, if you... If you just waste them trying to find a secret room, and you never do find a secret room, then it's not worth it. Uh, but if you use them to blow up a bunch of tinted rocks, you get some damage upgrades, and it's all good. And Dead Bird, I don't know. Oftentimes I find out, or I find that it is actually pretty much garbage when it comes to hitting enemies. And of course it only works on rooms where, you know, it actually, or we actually take damage. So, having completed the first floor here, using 10% of my 10 bombs, 10 bombs does feel kind of shitty now that you can get 99 bombs, though, I will say. Uh, we will pick up basically one of everything on this floor. We got some spirit hearts, we got some bombs, we got a justice card, which we will save for a minute anyway. We got goat hoof, which is random damage upgrades, and we have a pill. Luck up, alright, I'll take that. Now, again, we're back to 10 bombs. I can use these to find the secret room. Who knows, we might even find enough money to make it possible for us to go to the shop on this floor. Although, I'm gonna guess, probably unlikely. There's our first secret room. Wow, um, we're pretty close, actually. We need two more cents. Oh, I didn't want to leave there. I wanted to shoot the fire. That's fine. We'll head down to the next floor. We got a good base. We got this justice card. So remember, even if we don't get another key on the next floor, we should be able to go to both the treasure room and the item, or treasure room and the shop, considering that I do have the, uh, the, uh, justice card, which gives us one of basically every drop. But we do have the treasure room right off the bat. Goat Hoof doing some good work for me here. Uh, one of my favorite trinkets, actually, when I do manage to pick it up, and it seems to appear fairly often. Black Bean's alright, but I would rather reroll that and try to get something a little bit better. I guess the reason I love Isaac so much is that it's really nice to have that potential. So you see an item, and you're like, ah, I don't really need it that much. We'll just reroll that. You know what? We'll take Sister Maggie. That's probably better than the Black Bean. Gives us a little bit more damage per second in all likelihood. I think Sister Maggie is the one that scales with your damage as well, so, you know, the stronger we get, I think the stronger she will get. I believe? I don't know. But in any case, I'm not gonna complain about it. Uh, it's a pretty solid item. And things are looking alright for us so far. I mean, we don't have anything particularly incredibly good. But... We're doing solid here, considering we're only on the second floor. I mean, we have to keep, keep that in perspective as well. I haven't even visited really much of the second floor. We may even come across a... Come on. Come on. I feel like I'm doing the voice acting for Gabby J or something. There... Oh, yeah, perfect. Nice. Thanks for that. Uh, I'm going to come up in here, and I should be able to play the Blood Bank at least a couple times. There we go. Get enough money for us to go to the shop for dang sure. I'm assuming we're not going to be doing much backtracking this way, so let's check for the secret room quickly. Oh, lucky us. Not so lucky us. Lucky I got 10 bombs so early in the game. Health up pill, guaranteed. Bad trip, not good. Well, you know, this is a, as good a time of... Actually, it's not as good a time of, as any to use our justice card. Instead, what we'll do, come back here, pick up the full health. Thank you very much. 
then we'll come back around, go to the blood bank, and while we're next to the blood bank, we will use our justice card. And hopefully not run into any more problems health-wise. Alright, so we're up to 20 cents. Justice card hooking me up there. And move onwards. Excellent. I would, I would love, of course, to come back to that blood bank. Oh, please drop a health upgrade. Super gluttony. I would really love that. Um, yeah, so of course we will try to go back to that blood bank if we get a chance. And we're not running too low on health. We'd love the opportunity to pick up the extra blood bag. Give us full health, of course. As well as a health upgrade. Well, you know what? We can... Oh, I made a huge mistake there. But that's fine. Uh, I can play this another two times. Come on, blood bag. Nope. And... Nope. Okay, but we've... It's got to be getting close to popping, is my perspective. I could have played it one more time. But I picked up that heart too early because I got, you know... I don't know, I got excited, I guess, that I had the ability to replenish my health on, like, in the last video where I was rolling on, like, two unreplenishable hearts for the entire game. Speaking of which, we've basically already gotten more spirit hearts on this run so far as Isaac on the Cellar Part 2 than I got in the entirety of the last floor. Or the last run I had with Blue Baby. But somehow we still managed to succeed there, so we really have no excuse for not succeeding here. Very quickly... We'll run back, we'll play this, the Blood Bank one more time because there's another half heart here, and I assume we'll get more health from the boss, assuming we don't lose a lot ourselves. If needed, and it is indeed needed, so we'll go pick up this health now, and then we will uh, go to the shop, see what we got going on in the shop. We know it's not going to be greed, I can reroll something if necessary, but I would rather not, because I would save it for what we've got here. We got Notched Axe, and some Spirit Hearts, and some Keys. Well, first off, Tinted Rock will give us a key, so I'm not going to purchase a key. But I will purchase the Spirit Heart. Here's, here's my thinking here. Then we'll go down, see what we get from the boss. Maybe we'll get a Devil Room, maybe not. Okay, so we're not going to be able to reroll what we get from this dude right here. We're just going to get a cube of meat. Which is fine. Decent defensive item. Uh, we can live with that for now. I mean, the potential of getting those third and fourth level meat boys is strong. Especially should I pick up a Book of Revelations at some point. Man, we are doing more damage than I expected. That's the other thing with the blue baby run, is until I got Mom's knife, I was doing borderline zero damage for, like, the entire game. Okay, so we don't have a deal with the devil either. So what I will do is head back here and re-roll that notched axe. Let's get coin purse. Not worth it for 15 cents. I'm making an executive decision. We'll move onwards here. Could be awesome, could be terrible. We'll see what we get on this floor. Rather save my 15 cents, pick up something more guaranteed, you know? Yeah, maybe we can pick up Rage at some point. I feel like that would stack really well with this Goat Hoof. And I don't think I need to worry about the Polaroid anymore. Like, I think beating it with the Polaroid unlocked the final boss for me. This is based on what I learned from the wiki, which I just looked at while the last video was rendering. Um, so unlock the final boss for me right away, so I don't need to, like, carry any other trinket to get to it in the future. We'll leave Red Patch there for now and fight the boss. Well, there is going to be our second cube of meat. The reason I wanted to fight the boss right away, of course, is because my D6 was going to be charged. But in either case, we're going to be just fine here, I feel, against Pestilence. Second cube of meat is good. We're going to have a, a pretty big posse going for us. Now, if only we could fight, like, little Steven or get, like, a little Chubb or something. We could be going really strongly here. We could. It wouldn't be out of the question for us to get a deal with the devil. Because I have not taken damage in at least a little while. Not as long as I would like, but a little while, nonetheless. Let's bust open this last one. This should be the final barrage for Pestilence. I apologize to you, my friend. There we go. And please, Angel Room would be brilliant right now. Rage for two, Demon Baby for two. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to do Demon Baby for two just to have another dude in my posse. But let's reroll these. We got the Quarter for two and the Ouija Board for two. Fuck it. I'm going to stick with my standard items. I don't like paying, I like Rage as an item, in fact I really like Rage as an item, but I don't like paying two hearts for it when it shows up so frequently in treasure rooms, and it seems to show up so frequently in treasure rooms after uh, I've seen it in Deal with the Devil Room, so I'm not sure if that's some kind of weird glitch or if it's more likely by by design that Rage shows up in the in the shop or the, uh, the treasure rooms after showing up in the Deal with the Devil Room. I don't know. Perhaps it's just coincidence. But either way, we're in a perfect spot here for me to take a look at this stuff. Rosary gives us some spirit hearts. I'll take that, because I need to save a reroll for the shop, I suppose. 
Not a great item, but it's an okay item. And faith up means I think we have a greater chance of like running across the Bible in every shop that we come across. Oh, that sucks actually. <laughs> but uh, you know, we'll have the ability to reroll those, so that's okay. At least for now. So we'll come down here and I just can't pass up spirit hearts, man. You never know. You can turn those into a deal with the devil or something. So we got nun habit. Yeah, sure. Sock it to me. I uh, would love to buy that other spirit heart as well, but we're going to need to get one cent for that to become a possibility. But otherwise, feeling pretty strong about our chances. Nun habit, obviously, I mean, isn't that great in conjunction with the D6? Unless you're, I mean, I don't plan on taking too much damage on the next few floors, hopefully. Uh, and you, you only have to reroll like two or three times a floor anyway, unless you get some seriously bad luck. There's a sense, so we'll pick up the spirit heart. Um, but Nun Habit is just a great item. If you see it and you pass it up, you're probably going to regret it at some point. So, I don't want to have any regrets in my Binding of Isaac Let's Play career. So yeah, a funny joke, right? Like, I don't have any mistakes that I've made over the course of these videos. Uh, but, whatever. We're going to fight Wrath here. Wrath is hopefully going to give us Fetus in a Jar. I don't even know if Wrath can drop that item. But I know Wrath drops bomb-themed items. So perhaps... It really, if he drops any spacebar item for us, I think he can drop, like, Brother Bobby or Mr. Bomb or something. But no matter what he drops, we can turn that into something better by way of our D6. There we go. That, perfect. So we'll reroll that. Pick up Ouija board. Um, not the greatest item for me right now, because I can't fly, but it's alright. And, uh, you know, above all else, I won't have another chance to reroll it unless I go to the self-sacrifice room, I guess, and take some damage. So, I'll stick with the Ouija board, that's fine. It's not worth losing a Spirit Heart over, in my opinion. Even though we just bought one right there. And then we'll head down to the next floor, feeling pretty strong, good health, decent damage, sizable posse. I said posse, people. Don't get your minds out of the gutter. And, you know, Nun's Habit, which is an item that it's basically an investment. It'll pay off long term whenever I get rid of this D6 and pick up some spacebar item that will be more functional for me later in the game. So obviously right now D6 is strong, but D6 tapers off pretty significantly once you run out of item rooms and shops. Still occasionally viable later in the game, but not that often. You can't bank on it. And now we're on Caves Part 2, which is fine by me. I will definitely risk walking here to pick up all this money. I think my diagonal walking skills are pretty strong. Not foolproof, but pretty strong at this point in my Isaac career. I don't want to waste a key by accident going to that shop until I know I will have the money to make it. Wow, that was easy as hell. Mob trap room, sure, why not? Money and a bomb. Can't complain. Would love to find the treasure room as soon as possible so that I can potentially reroll both that and the boss. The boss room, I should say. If we could reroll the boss, that would be awesome. The widow, no thanks. Actually, the widow's not so bad anymore. Who would I not want to fight? Pete, no thanks. Finding Peep harder than Gertie lately. Which means my Gertie skills have come up, my Peep skills will probably go down. But believe me, I got enough Peep skills to go around. That didn't wasn't intended to rhyme. It kind of freaked me out actually. Hierophant, two more spirit arts. Again, would like to reiterate, this is way more spirit arts than I ever got with Blue Baby. And like I said, that run still managed to work somehow. Basically against all odds. No, there's no basically there, it was against all odds. Uh, but it worked. So I'll perform the greatest dodge in my Isaac career right there to dodge these Isla Zeus guys, or I fool these guys. Actually start killing these ones. Wow, that was pretty lucky. Uh, I forgot how fast those guys can get. Sorry, did I said those guys? I meant those assholes. So pick up our bomb and a little bit of extra money here. I desperately need to find either the treasure room or the boss room, but it looks like they're going to be basically right next to each other, which is terrible. But maybe I will take damage and on the boss room and we'll be able to reroll his item, regardless of what it is. Because obviously I think two hits will recharge my, my D6. That's all right. Or maybe they'll both just drop decent items. That would be okay too. We might have a small chance for a reroll here. So what do we got here? Nothing? Okay. We got the D20. <laughs> We're going to use our D20 to re-roll our D6. I don't know what D20 does, but we got it, so we should roll with it. Get it? Uh, what we will do here is pick up six cents right here. 
Again, making the shop basically worthwhile. I have no idea what this Mr. D20 does. Hopefully, uh, I will get a chance to see shortly, although we have basically uh, exhausted all of our room options here. It takes six rooms to charge, which sucks. We're not going to be able to reroll this dude anyway. We're going to get another posse member. It's okay. Swallow this bomb. Yeah, okay. Save me some time, because you become a pain in the ass <laughs> the longer the fight goes on. Yeah, of course, um, laser bullet flies. I'd love nothing more than to deal with them right now. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'll give you one more bomb. How about you eat that bad boy right there? You are dead. Welcome to my team. And with ten bombs... You know what? Let's take some, some cracks at the secret room here. I would love to visit the shop. Oh, you know what? Why don't we just do it this way? I will take these right here. Not to say that we won't check for the secret room regardless, and I mean a bomb for two cents is actually a pretty terrible trade in the whole scheme of things, but, you know, I needed the money, so why not take it? Really thought that would be the secret room. If nothing else, I don't know if the D20 works like a reroll, or if the D20... Oh, super greed. Okay, or, or if the D20 wor works like something else altogether, like maybe it gives you like random tier effects on a room or something. If so, that seems pretty bad in comparison to the $3 bill, which shows up all the damn time. Well, if I take a little bit more damage, we may actually see what the D20 does. Whoa! Oh my god. <laughs> it drops a lot of items? Or it gives you like a random drop or something? I don't know. Seems incredible. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Super Greed dropped two dimes. Wow, I think the D20 might be fantastic. Okay, oh no, range down. I'm, I'm still kind of confused about what the hell just happened. But I went into the shop with 16 cents. Now I have 31. Basically the same number of spirit hearts, but I lost a lot during that fight anyway. Uh, and tons of bombs and keys. Seems really damned good. Especially in conjunction with the nun habit, so you can use it more often. Now, if only I could get the wafer as well. First things first. Got some tinted rocks here. Damage upgrade, always nice. Hey, why not a spirit heart as well while we're here? Could use some more damage upgrades. I, I, I realize I have goat hoof, but if I got rid of that, I would still be doing fairly... I think I'd be doing base damage right now. Oh! Well, I guess we're going to stick with that trinket because we are stuck with it, unless I can buy Mom's purse or something. So there goes my damage down to base damage, as if intended. The tick is, is such a troll, because you oftentimes don't know what something is until it's too late. Trinket, pick it up! Oh, shit. <laughs> I've made a huge mistake, but... Oh well, like I said, I don't think we need any special trinket to, to beat the actual final boss. So, we're alright in that regards just disappointing because I lost Goat Hoof, which is awesome. Or at least I enjoy it. Sorry, Goat Hoof. I would have loved to. You just put some salt on that tick, man. Get it off. These guys, okay, good. I got them all to come the same way, and then mowed them down. One more bomb here. Hey, they were nice enough to restock me with a bomb after I used my existing bomb. More money, so we are in double item territory from the shop for damn sure. Um, do I really want two items from the shop? Answer, yes. First, let's go visit this bad boy right here. I'm hoping maybe we can get more spirit hearts. Even though I might already have enough to carry me throughout the rest of the game. I actually don't want trinkets for once. Yeah, cool. Uh, you're making me feel pretty bad about myself right now, game. Well, don't lie to me. You're gonna die alone or marry and reproduce? There's only one option here. Alright, well, last play. Ah, cool. Eight cents for one spirit heart is a ripoff, but at least it wasn't, you know, seven cents for nothing. Guess I gotta stop thinking of it as eight cents for one spirit heart and start thinking of it as, uh, you know, one cent for a spirit heart and then seven cents for nothing. For some reason, that feels better. Spirit card is strength. Uh, let's double our keys so I can carry the strength card around with me. D6 will recharge in the next room whether we get hit or not. So I'm looking forward. Oh, never mind. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do with that. All stats upgrade. Certainly awesome. You know what, Judgment? Today's your lucky day. I feel like I can afford to lose like 10 extra cents right now. So give me something amazing. I'm probably not going to give up the D6 or D20, so don't bother with that. 
Don't bother giving me like a, a Bible or you know, a book of revelations would be okay. I would get one spirit heart out of it anyway. So you got two cents left. Make them count. Terra card is hero font. Okay, that's two spirit hearts. That's good. Cannot stress how much better this is than my run with Blue Baby. You know what? You get one more. Maybe another one just because I like you. Okay, we're going to go down to 15 cents because I have a problem. Hey, we got an HP upgrade from it as well. That is fine. Uh, we still have enough money, of course, to make the shop worthwhile. Although I have spent like 21 cents over the past five rooms. But we picked up, in, the, in those last few rooms, we picked up a lot of good stuff. An all stats upgrade in particular. Health up and a couple of spirit hearts. So it's not like we wasted our money for nothing. And you know, money, we can always get more money. So we got here, another bomb. D20 is ready, but I don't want to use it on an empty room. I want to use it on a room where there's enemies. Didn't do anything. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing some fundamental aspect here. Maybe, you know, it's like a D20. Sometimes you can roll like a three, not a great roll, and you don't get anything as a result. Maybe it only works if there's already existing drops. I don't know. There is our compass. Compass is going to show us the way. The joke's on us. There's really only like two ways to go from here. No, oh, that's bad. No tinted rocks. Self-sacrifice room doesn't appeal to me because I have too many spirit hearts to... Well, I have enough spirit hearts that I don't really want to lose them for no reason. And that self-sacrifice room has historically been kind of a troll to me. Bombs, we got D20. D20 gives us a single pill. Bad trip, which will eventually become a full health pill. But I won't be here when that happens, because I'm going to carry my strength card with me. It sounds like like a lame after-school special or something. I'm going to carry my strength card with me. Let's see, that, uh, that's my anti-drug. So we have it here. More zombies And the tinted rock. Okay, well, I'll focus on that in a second. But first off, I think it's pretty clear i got to take care of these J-Brones. You're gone. You are soon to be gone. You almost charged my D20 there. You super nice guy. Two more bombs for the cost of one bomb. I guess that's a good deal. And we got Monster Part 2, so let's pop this strength card as soon as... That was bad. Uh, yeah, let's pop the strength card now. I got the damage. I got the health. I got the D20. D20 didn't do anything. I feel like I should only use the D20 when there's already drops on the ground. Is that how that works? Let's test that hypothesis out in the future. What do you got for me, Monster 2? Not a whole lot, apparently. Take Jesus Juice for the Range and Tears upgrade. And a Prayer Card. Um, I'm going to hold on to the D20 just because it's it's interesting right now. Oh, I should have gotten the Prayer Card, used it once, then that would have acted like a health upgrade. Oh well, we're doing fine for health. Don't have to stress out too much over that health that I just lost by being a dumb idiot. Okay, well, there's already drops on the ground here. D20 re-rolls your drops. Okay. I can't believe it took me that long to figure it out. But there is a card over here. Could be a joker. Could be a devil. Either way, I'm into it. Alright, sorry. Could be a joker. Could be anything else. Two of hearts doubles our heart containers. It's fine. It's not as good as I would like right now. But it does mean that I could go to a blood bank and make that blood bank awesome. Alright. D20 re-rolls drops. Good to know. Crisis averted. Lucky dodging there. Very lucky dodging there. In case you're not watching and only listening, I did pick up the bloody... or um, It's not called brass knuckles. It was the bloody knuckles? Something like that. Uh, the, the upgrade that gives you uh, the random shot of yours that becomes a tooth. That does pretty insane amounts of damage. So that's an item... I think, historically, you know, in the Let's Play so far, at least the, the Wrath of the Lamb episode, since that item has been introduced, it's an item I've expressed a certain affinity for. I think it's okay. I don't think it's... Oh, God. That was so lucky. Uh, I don't think it's as good as, like, a standard damage upgrade, but it's alright. Occasionally, it can save your ass. And it does a lot of damage against bosses, assuming you can get a few of them to proc at once. Empress gives us the curse for a room probably more valuable than the two of the hearts right now. Uh, because that two of hearts is not going to get used unless I come across an arcade, and I know for a fact that there's no arcades on this floor. Uh, although that doesn't mean that there's no blood banks, but I mean, we can always come back and get that card later. Because of course that would be valuable in trying to pick up a... Uh, you know what, we should go to the shop before anything else, because we're, we're going to have to fight Mom here, and when you fight Mom you can't leave. What I was going to say, um... 
Yes, uh, you know, like, I could find a Blood Bank or, like, a Temperance Tarot card, so I should not be so hasty to write off that Two of Hearts card. But for now, we're in a good position. There's going to be a boss room that I cannot access. A boss trap room, I should say, that I cannot access. Which is a shame, because those are oftentimes uh, really, really good drop zones. We got hearts that we can't use. We got money that we can use. Hopefully we don't run into... Oh, a nice eternal heart. Uh, I'm just going to have to pick that up and hope that I don't take damage, though, because... Or I could re-roll it with the D20. It seems like that would be stupid. Uh, and hope that I don't take damage, because I will use that uh, during the mom boss fight. Obviously, I can't just like leave the mom boss fight after it finishes. You know what we're going to do? Use a bomb to pick up this eternal heart. I think it's worth the bomb just for the chance of success. Then we use our D20 here. Reroll these two items. <laughs> we got another eternal heart out of it. Okay, well, I definitely don't want the range down. But I uh, basically, D20 just allowed me to give myself a full health upgrade. Basically from doing nothing. So that is pretty damned awesome. Uh, I really like the D20. Especially now that I figured out what it does. Uh, I feel like I could use it a lot more effectively on a future run. Let's see what we've got in the boss room here. Greed, all right, cool. You know what? Greed's gonna give us some money. I like money. Uh, and with, oh my god, hit me one more time. Yes, okay, now when we have all these drops on the ground, I can re-roll these with the D20 and potentially get like some dope spirit hearts or something. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'll take the bomb and I'll take the nickel and then we'll re-roll. Oh lord. <laughs> D20 is the greatest counter to greed. You could possibly imagine. Sure, Justice, hit me up, buddy. Uh, we got the Empress card. Okay, we got pills. Let's take the pills. Bad gas. Don't want it. I think the other one is bad trip. Don't want it. Oh, this one, we don't know. Balls of Steel. That's two more spirit hearts. So we'll take this. Ah, well, we gotta look at this card, too. Two of clubs. Doubles our bombs. Sure, why not? Yeah, D20. Uh, killer item. Fantastic item against greed, if you can make that happen. Uh, or, you know, on a secret room, go in, there's nine cents in there. If there's any nickels or dimes, pick those up, obviously, and then re-roll it, and you might find yourself with, like, four spirit hearts. D20, I think. It's too early to say. I don't want to get ahead of myself, you know, say things I'm going to regret later. Uh, but it seems like it could easily be one of the best items in the game. Especially, it's it's so nice to finally have like a great counter against greed. Like, oh, I ran into greed. Oh, if I let him hit me twice, uh, I'll have access to all of the riches of the world. Another dime, getting pretty goddamn lucky with those drops. Ah, uh, didn't expect to get hit there, but I still have hearts off the screen. Uh, we're looking like we're in a pretty good set right now. I wonder if D20 also rerolls the items that you get after you defeat the boss? I'm not sure. The world may never know. Hopefully we get some good drops on this room, because D20 is charged, so, you know, it would be nice to, to use it for something. Yeah, we got three here, why not? Alright, that was not good. But that's alright. I will use two keys here, because Lord knows I can afford to. We got decent money, we got great bombs, and we got the curse, which we will use to fight our own mother here. So we're going to do insane damage. Seriously insane damage, I think. Uh, if I can actually manage to land some shots, there we go. Uh, it's not that crazy, but it, it, it's pretty good. Um, at about 50%, I would say. So obviously we've had faster runs, but it's going fairly well so far. Uh, and I think we got good chances moving forward here. Like, uh, I think we may actually be able to, you know, beat Isaac and get to the final boss. Or if, I, mean, I guess we don't, there's, there's, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. What I'm going to say, just get to the final boss at least. That's a reasonable goal. Range upgrade. That's cool, I had a range down a little bit earlier. Remember, I did buy the compass recently, so we might actually get to use it on this floor. To speed up our progress, if, if I'm lucky. So let's use a bomb here. It's a little tricky, but it's, it's worth it for potential access to, like, a flying item. Okay, then we'll walk ourselves in. Pop that bad boy open. Hey, it's Steven. Thanks for the damage upgrade, buddy. That is actually really useful. Golden chests, for whatever reason, in the womb, seem to pay out substantially better than golden chests anywhere else. So I'll just abuse my Ouija board advantage to hopefully be able to take out some of these guys. 
Maybe not. God, I hate these sis. But the tooth, if I can land a couple more tooth shots. Oh, okay, well, we got one there. Purple guy was too smart, managed to dodge. Mace Windu over here. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. There we go. Extra money. That would have been a decent room for the uh, D20, but we can't really do too much about that, can we? Oh, maybe we can. <laughs> I guess that's the other thing, you can just leave drops on a room and then go pick it up later. I'm also thankful- oh, Jesus Christ. I'm also thankful that I picked up on what the, the D20 actually does, because otherwise the comments would have just been infuriating. So now, I mean, they probably still will be to a certain extent. I can see my hearts again, which scares me. Let's re-roll these bad boys. What do we got here? Strength, that's good. Um, I mean, the comments will still be infuriating, but that's fine. Hopefully they will learn their lesson when they see that I eventually figure it out. More money, that would have been a better room for the D20. Alas, what can we do? We're gonna be fighting death, which means third level new boy. Let's pop our strength card quickly there in case you missed it. I think, oh man, it's not doing so hot right now. Yeah, not doing hot at all. Starting to be able to see my, my hearts. Hopefully D20 can pull me out of this mess. Hey, there's a spirit heart. I'm not gonna reroll that. Come on. Come on. Okay. Well, first we'll pick up the cube of meat. Third level meat boys is nice. Uh, then we'll just try to go. Yeah, there we go. We managed to pick it up before we went through the trapdoor. It's all good. Hey, arcade. So what we're gonna do here is try to get ourselves another health upgrade because obviously I have screwed myself over. Oh no! You know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna try to get as many drops on the screen as possible. And then we're gonna abuse our D20. To switch those bad boys up. Yeah, pennies especially. I feel like pennies... Okay, we'll take the dime. Pennies are the best because they're worthless. So re-rolling those, like, it can't possibly get any worse than a penny. Even half hearts right now. Okay, so let's try to pick up this pill. Do I know what this does? Bad trip. Okay, so we're going to maybe save that moving forwards. I feel like this might be the greatest tactical decision I've ever made in my Binding of Isaac career. Too bad I'm not... Ca too bad I'm not Kane, so I can't make it work a little bit better. But anyway, we'll, we'll spend as much money as we possibly can here. Yeah, pennies. I need pennies. Half hearts are cool too, because I can use those to play the blood bank. We got Pretty Fly, that's a nice pickup. I want to just guess. Let me give you my money. And also, playing the blood bank when the blood bank doesn't pay out, what does it give you? It gives you pennies. So, hopefully, we get a good opportunity to make that happen. Otherwise, we may just be here for a long time. I don't mind re-rolling bombs, either, because I already have 31 of those. And, of course, the extra pennies are nice. This is going to be a huge pickup. <laughs> okay. Okay, just keep calm. Thought that was going to be a pretty fly. No such luck. Is this the greatest decision I've ever made in The Binding of Isaac? It helps that I'm getting a lot of penny payouts right now as well. There's like 13 cents on the ground. I don't want it though. Okay, we can afford to play this bad boy once. Don't give me that. I, okay, I, now I gotta traverse the maze here. You know, the Native Americans call it the corn. Okay, we'll take the nickel. Put this bad boy back up here. Skatole would be alright right now, or Skatol. I don't know what it, how it's pronounced. That's not my job. We're getting dangerously close to reroll territory here. I'm starting to run out of cash. Picking up a lot of nickels and dimes, though. Just trying to be very careful. Not pick up any pennies. Ooh, these might be more difficult. Okay, there's the blood bag. The blood bag, I should say. So we got some more hearts that I can just re-roll and turn into something awesome. Setting the, setting the stage here for something amazing in a second. We got ten cents left. Hopefully one of these dudes will just explode soon. Wow, okay. Although this is gonna have, you know, you know what, we're just gonna blow you up. We've done our time here. It's another bad trip pill. Here comes the reroll. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> we're not gonna reroll it again. We'll just pick up what we got. We got golden chests, we got tons of money. We got two of hearts. Can't really use it right now. We got ace of spades, can't pick it up because it's a trinket. Okay, first off, just walk around here, pick up all the random shit that I can actually get. Lots of spirit hearts. We got the two of diamonds, doubles our money again. We got justice. <laughs> Okay, pop this open. We got lots of money out of this, that's for damn sure. We got lots of hearts, double our money. Again. 
Two of Hearts? Okay, we'll, we'll carry the Two of Hearts pill with us. Yes, we will. Okay, and we got this pill. We don't know what this does. Luck up. Okay, luck up. Pop this open. Oh my god. Well, I would say that worked out really well. If only we did that on an earlier floor, that would have been even better. But there you go. That was, um, I think, a pretty good example of how to use the D20 effectively. And... Meat Boy, yeah. Do some, do some chewing, Meat Boy. We got you. I think I'm back in the saddle again. Feel like I got good chances. For a second there, I was getting a little bit down on myself. Thinking maybe we don't have the ability to make this work. But now I feel like, uh, you know, we got some spirit hearts out of that. We got a lot of stuff out of that, actually. We got Mr. Boom again. Uh, I don't think I can re-roll that, but if I can re-roll that, I will be back. Because we're not going to get any more treasure for, like, the rest of the game, so... That was convoluted. I thought Meat Boy could have just eaten him. That would have made my life way easier. Wonder how long this room would take if I'd never moved and just continuously fired straight ahead. Meat Boy, come on, man. I got line of sight on these guys. Just pick them off. It's so easy. Okay, can't pick that up. We got Lust here. Not ideal, but I think... Oh, well, you know what? We might be able to do another D12 or D20 rerolling. Before we get to the boss here, who will be like the room after next. Yeah, why not? Works on this room, too. So we traded that pill that could have been something amazing for two bombs and a single cent. Awesome. That was bad on my part, but hey, looks like we might get another opportunity to use our D20 as well. If I just get hit one more time, no such luck for them. Ah, and on to the boss, I guess. We're here. We got it lives. Meat Boy, of course, will continuously fire. Tick has already taken off like 15% of the boss's damage. The boss's total life, I should say. And I should really be planting bombs here. That was bad. I should really be planting bombs here, I said, because... Oh my god, please. Uh, because I have 37 of them. If I throw this one away right now, we'll... If I won that blue baby one and then find myself losing here, that would be disappointing, to say the least. All right, boy, come on, now's your time to shine. Yeah, eat those zombies. You're gonna do to the zombies what the Florida zombie did to that man. Get out of there. Still alive here, Meat Boy, don't kick those back at me. I know we've got kind of a history of that. There we go. Continuously firing bombs. Hopefully some drops on this room at some point. I can't believe that's a damage from that. Come on. We're nearly done here, like 10%, 0%. What do you want? Oh, actually, I want to go up to the cathedral. Okay, we got a chance. Especially if we find the boss room as soon as possible. It seems to be kind of a great distance away. Oh, this is perfect, this is perfect. We can afford to lose a lot of health to make this happen. Here's, here's my strategy here. Hit me some more, Greed. Yeah, do it, I'll take the damage. Okay, now don't hit me anymore. <laughs> Meat Boy, I need you to do some chewing, please. Yes, thank you. That's that's very useful. Finish him off, please. Steam Sale will reroll. And get a thousand keys out of it. <laughs> and a treasure chest with the magician. And a chest here with bombs. Okay, you know what? We're gonna leave almost everything on this room. And we're gonna come back and reroll it later if we if we find that we, we find ourselves in a position where that makes sense. For example, uh, if if my D6 somehow gets charged because I get hit a couple more times. And remember, I can always use my, my Two of Hearts card here. Not worth it, not worth it, not worth it! Oh, okay, well, I can always use my Two of Hearts card now. Come back here, reroll the shit out of these. Okay, what do we got here? We got money. We got chests with hearts in them. That's good. And I'll, I'll take the... Pill, see what the pill does. Range down. Okay, well, we'll stick with that range down pill, I guess, because uh, there's nothing else I can do. And you know what? We'll come back. If D6 gets recharged again before the boss fight, we'll go back and reroll that room again, because I would love to have some more spirit hearts going into this final session here. No reason for me to be picking up you know, bombs, keys. That thing spawned right on top of me. No reason for me to be picking up bombs, keys, and money uh, when, when I really don't need them at all. Instead, I will hold out for like pills, good tarot cards, things like that. Ability to fly would be a nice pickup right now. We're getting very close to the boss room. So, uh, D6 is... Oh, no, it's not. 
Hmm. I want to. I want to re recharge my. Sorry, D20, not D6. I want to recharge my D20 before I go into this boss fight. So we'll take out the widow. Which, uh, yeah, I didn't expect to be very difficult. We got the magician. There are better cards for me to be having moving forward. We may even be able to play that dude, the the judgment who takes your health, if we get a lot of heart drops from this room right here. So we're gonna re-roll this one last time. We do get a lot of heart drops. Don't really need any of those. Okay, we got heart drops. Yeah, Guppy's head, which I guess is better. Or Tammy's head, sorry, which I guess is better than the D20 right now, because I'll never get to use the D20 again unless I just get hit by these guys over and over. And I think I can afford to play the uh, half heart judgment here like three or four times. So let's go over to him. Two. Whoa, he only hurt me once there. That's weird. Um, yep. Do it again. I didn't expect that last one to hurt. That's bad gas. That's not good. Okay, well, let's go get some health. Don't walk on the spikes. God knows that would be a disaster right now. <laughs> uh, okay, come, 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 come. Don't get hit. Don't want to throw your chances into... Okay, we're, we're going to be fine. We're going to have exactly enough health. I, I really feel the temptation to play that dude one or two more times, but... I guess it's not worth it, because we do have a run where we could possibly make something special happen here. So we, I believe, as far as I know, we have a new boss here. Let's see who it is. Blue Baby! Alright, that frightened me a little bit. Hey, it's just Isaac reskinned and shooting continuously. Okay, there's Tammy's head. Thank you, Tammy's head, for doing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Uh... People told me there was like a new Daddy Long Legs type boss that appeared, but I, I think maybe that was a glitch or something. Well, I guess the good thing is that Tammy's head will like recharge every two times I'm hit. Meat Boy's doing a good job. Is it possible? Okay, I think Tammy's head did a little bit of damage right there. I'm still feeling a little bit scared about my chances, just because anything can happen. The Meat Boy's doing good work. Okay, we got Angel Blue Baby. We still have decent health. Blue Baby, less so. Tammy's head doing something. We're gonna make this work. This has been an unbelievable run of form for me as of late. Okay, well, you created kind of a gauntlet of angel fetuses that I can't really get around. Okay, this is, this is risky now. Just die. Just die. It's okay, you're done. That's good. There's some health for me. That's even better. There's Tammy's head, why not? And that is the new boss defeated in the Binding of Isaac. Kind of surprised me. Uh, post Isaac stretch is such a, a nice tradition. Um, kind of surprised me with it just being like a reskinned version of Isaac. But hey, we succeeded there and we learned about the D20, which is fantastic. Um, probably one of my new favorite items in the game. Lots of creative uses for that. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.